You know, the cool thing about cauliflower is when you batter it or bread it and fry it, it basically tastes like chicken. So if we just kind of play with the shape, treat it like we would a fried chicken, deep fry it, throw a little buffalo sauce on it, seems like the perfect game day snack for somebody who doesn't eat meat. And it's gonna be something you're gonna like whether you eat meat or you don't. So if that sounds good, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and let's just jump right into it. First thing we have to do is prep the cauliflower. To do so, we just have to cut off all of the green leaves and then start to carefully slice the individual florets from the stalk. Looks like a friggin' chicken drumstick, am I right? The big florets are gonna be sort of around the edges and the pieces will get smaller as you work your way down. Once the florets are loose, take the biggest ones and cut them in half. In a big bowl, I have about six egg whites. Save the yolks, make fresh pasta or carbonara with it. Whisk the egg whites just enough so that they aren't stringy anymore. They're loose enough to evenly coat the florets of cauliflower. Season with salt and then toss the florets in the egg whites. In a separate large bowl, add equal amounts of flour and cornstarch, about a cup of each. hefty pinch of salt, a tablespoon each of paprika. I've got this Calabrian chili powder, but Kanye works, cayenne works, Jesus. Garlic powder and onion powder, and then mix that together. Then take the egg-coated cauliflower and add it to that bowl of the seasoned flour dredge. Make sure every crevice of the cauliflower is coated and the flour is fully hydrated by that egg white. And if you see any bare spots, get some flour on there. We want everything completely coated. Add all the excess to a vessel that's gonna fit into your fridge so that there's plenty of excess flour in the bowl and then toss that in the fridge and let them cool so that that egg white solidifies and that breading will stick when it fries. Get some oil in a big pot. I'm using about one and a half quarts, but general rule of thumb is to never fill a pot up more than halfway with oil when you're frying. Get the oil up to temperature while we prepare the creamy blue cheese. In a small bowl, add a cup of sour cream, a cup of mayo, and enough buttermilk to smooth it out, about two tablespoons. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of white vinegar, a teaspoon of mustard powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. And then mix it up and gauge the consistency. It shouldn't be too runny and it shouldn't be too thick. Then crumble in some blue cheese and with the back of your spoon sort of just smush that in there just to get it nicely incorporated. Season with salt and pepper and your creamy blue cheese is ready. Set that aside. Next, get a small pot and add a bottle of Frank's Red Hot to it. The only hot sauce in my opinion to make a real buffalo sauce. Get it on the stove and bring it up to a simmer. And once simmering, turn the heat off and then start to whisk in about a half a stick of cold butter until the sauce is thickened and then set that off to the side. By now the oil should be hot. Get a sheet tray with a rack on it so that when we're done frying the cauliflower we can transfer it onto the rack to drain. We want to start the temperature out at around 325 degrees. It's at 340 now which is fine because I know when I add the cauliflower the temperature is going to drop. I want to fry the biggest pieces together and then the smallest pieces together so they all fry the same time. Fry them at this lower temperature for about five minutes and then kick the heat up to about 350 and then fry until they're golden and brown and crispy all over. Transfer those to the rack to drain, season them with salt, and then finish frying the rest of the batches. While that's frying, I'm also gonna slice up some iceberg lettuce really thin for my sliders. Once all the cauliflower has been fried, right before serving, I like to get the heat back up to about 350 and then flash fry all of the pieces quickly for about 30 seconds to a minute right before serving just to lock in that crust. Now we're gonna serve them as bites and as sliders. So get some slider buns toasted up. And in a large bowl, we're gonna add a few tablespoons of that buffalo sauce. 
Transfer the crispy cauliflower into the bowl and then toss until fully coated. Once the buns are toasted, to assemble the sliders, all you have to do is add some of that sliced lettuce to the bottom of the bun, a couple of the cauliflower bites, a little drizzle of buffalo sauce, which I forgot, and a drizzle of the blue cheese dressing. For the rest of the bites, serve them up with a little ramekin of blue cheese dressing and forget about it. Look at all this buffalo cauliflower you got from one head of cauliflower. Tell me that doesn't look like a chicken sandwich. Whether you eat meat or you don't eat meat, you've gotta give this a try. It's a great way to use a vegetable, and if you're watching the big game and you don't eat meat, this is a good way to feel included. So give this a shot.